<laughs> I'm curious. Uh, did you start wearing the suit before you made a lot of money, or did you make a lot of money because you wear a suit? Great question. You know, it's a great one. question. And what happened to me was years ago, I was you know Shark Tank took off, and and I was you know. I wore this suit, this this uniform, yeah. and I show up at uh, some show in New York, and it was a daytime show. Maybe it was, um, I can't remember which one it was, one of the morning shows, right? And I had just you know a pair of jeans on and a shirt. She said, "Where's where's the Shark Tank suit?" I said, <laughs> "Who cares?" She said, "You can't go out there without the Shark Tank suit." And I said, "Why not?" She said, "It'll freak people out. You have to go back to the hotel and get back in the Shark Tank suit." And I realized. Shit, there's a brand out there. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yep. And it, and it was the first time it hit me. And she told me something about a Q score, that the networks rate when when you come out and you're not you and there's something different about you, that's not good. Mm. They want to know what they know, even if it's a let, <clears throat> even if it's a level well, up. Listen, I, for example, the red bands, I got to wear a red band on Shark Tank yeah. all the time now because it started you know seven or eight years ago, and they don't they want continuity. They want to be able to cut between years and scenes and see. The same suit. So I'm the guy that wears the same thing. I got 25 of these suits, 25 of these shirts. <laughs> yes. And, you know, it, it's it's just part of who I am. Even when I show up in Dubai, they say, where's the suit? You're it's like, I just got off the plane. Yeah, and it's 146 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, I'm wearing shorts. It is what I, it is, I, and I you got you got to respect it. You know? I, I just can't imagine somebody watching, like, what the fuck? Is, he, is that blue? Mm-mm. Fuck this show. <laughs> it's, brand, it's, it's, it's branding. It's why I, I asked. It's because, like, he is the businessman. And a suit is very easily tied to that. It's like we, we all love Kevin O'Leary, but Kevin O'Leary in a suit. Oh my god! Damn, we lounge, had to do some business. Do you lounge in the house like watching Netflix wearing a suit? Hey, listen, I, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm wearing uh, you know Japanese fishing pants. Like they're, they're very colorful. And during the whole pandemic, <laughs> I would wear. Exactly. I would, can, can I see a picture of this? Yeah, you can just go look. Yeah, see yeah. anywhere on social. I'm wearing the suit top, but I have no pants on. So, and I did that for two years, and I keep doing it now. Because when you're on TV, I got my own studio and I'm recording something with, you know, whatever show it is. Why should I have to wear pants? Oh, 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 these are cool. Exactly. Oh, these are cool, dude. That's what you want. (laughs) Very package friendly. Very, very easy (laughs) to flow. These are sick. That's it. What? That's it, man. I'll tell you how I learned about these. When I was a kid, my father worked for the United Nations and we got posted in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And it's 140 degrees there, and it's 100% humidity. And I also learned to, to cook. I became a chef there because the housekeeper, Tiba and Dang were the two. One was a housekeeper, and the other was a chef. She'd take me to the market at 4 a.m., 4 o'clock, because it was so hot that they had to go and buy the fish and everything else. So we'd hit the, it was right on the Mekong Delta, right there with the fishermen, and everybody wore those pants. And I said to her, I need a pair of those pants. Yeah. And once you put those on, you don't go back. Yeah, yeah. They're just so comfortable. And I've been wearing them my whole life.